Hi everyone, this is Balash from Racing Brick. Today I will be reviewing this little beast here with some surprising functionality and build solutions. This is the 71426 Piranha Plant. This is the latest character set from the Super Mario World. It has 540 pieces, it is 18 plus, indicating that it's a display piece rather than a playset. It costs 65 euros or 60 dollars and will be available on the 6th of November. We get 6 numbered bags in the box and the instructions, but no sticker sheet this time. Despite the small size of the set, it has some additional information at the beginning of the manual that is pretty cool. Some background information about the character, then a nice timeline with the different appearances. According to this, the Piranha Plant first appeared in Super Mario Bros. Here it's green, but as I looked up online, there were red variants in the game as well. Then a few words from the design team and you can see them proudly posing with the little creature and well that's it. So let's start building. This time I won't show you the exact building steps, but some stages where you can see the interesting techniques and parts. So this is the base with lots of studs all around and here's one of the hidden features of the set that I think is pretty cool. There is a hinged door at the bottom, but it is attached with two stud connections, so it might be a little confusing at first, but here is the trick. We'll build another hinged assembly, using nice yellow Technic frictionless pins you will never see in a Technic build, and that will serve as the opening mechanism. It's pretty cool and it works perfectly. You push the button, which has enough range of motion to push the double slope, and the door pops open. Pretty cool. Here's the rest of the base, again lots of brackets and modified bricks for snot connections and another hinge mechanism. This one holds the plant itself and unfortunately can only be tilted in one direction, but that's understandable for space reasons. So here comes the rounded top of the pipe with the big green arches mounted sideways and all the side panel assemblies that are attached to the base. If you ask me, it's not that easy to guess the structure from the final look. Now for the stem. It's pretty simple, has a smooth surface on all sides thanks to these inverted tiles that have been around for a while in 2x2 form, but only came out as 2x4 this year and we see them in green for the first time in this set. We have two toe balls on the sides for the leaves and a socket for the head on top. The leaves look simple, but there is really a lot going on. Look at this nut structure where the classic hinge pieces are attached sideways, this is how they have the extra flexibility and then most of the studs get covered and they are attached to the stem. And this is how the stem goes in the slot of the tube. And now to the final phase, we are going to build a headpiece which has a Technic base. Again, there are some color variations that you shouldn't expect in a Technic set unless LEGO decides to release Barbie's Corvette as the 2024 one inch scale hypercar. No, this is not really Technic, being AI doesn't understand specific LEGO teams yet. Here's what the lips look like, and this is how they are attached, and finally, the top and bottom half of the head itself with these new printed elements that need to be attached. At the end, we have two unique printed coins to put inside the pipe, and we are done. So, here is our finished build, and I think it looks pretty cool. The range of motion is quite impressive, we can open the mouth of course, the head can be tilted and rotated, although this is probably where the biggest flaw of the set lies, it's really top heavy so it can only look straight up or stay in this position, otherwise the single ball joint won't have enough friction to hold it in place and it will fall forward. There are a few tricks though to get more poses. The head can be also rotated and if we pull out the whole plant and put back in rotated 90 degrees, we get some additional pose possibilities. The leaves also have a nice range of motion, they can be rotated and even closed completely so they are quite flexible. And here is the trapdoor feature again, you put the two coins in, press the button, the trapdoor pops open and you get the coins for smashing the plant. So that's it, this is what you get for 65 euros or 60 dollars. I think it's a cool and interesting build with some neat building techniques, although I think the official price on lego.com is a bit high for what we get. But good news, the set doesn't seem to be exclusive on lego.com, at least not in Europe, because you can already grab it for 49 euros, which is a fair price in my opinion. So folks, let me know your thoughts in the comments please, how do you like this set and what you think of all the functionality, let's talk about it in the comment section. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe with notifications, because there will be more exciting lego videos coming soon. See you next time, bye bye.